gonna try to do a nice gradual pull for you guys so you guys can hear the turbo a bit better. Don't get me wrong. Now she pulls all right, but it just, I don't know, it doesn't sound right. Can you see? Look at this. I literally just got another drivetrain malfunction. Oh, my car's not going anywhere. What the f I'm pressing the gas, bro. Oh my God, no way. No way. Asking for a chance and I see you getting out What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matuire and I own a 2017 BMW 340i. So it's a late Tuesday night and I'm in the garage trying to figure out what's wrong with the BMW. Everything was fine until I ended up getting a drivetrain malfunction code. Um, I got this after I did the custom tune and went for a test drive. It drove perfectly fine and then I went for a hard pull and I got the drivetrain notification. <laughs> The turbo has been making a weird noise upon decelerating. It's almost as if it sounds like a boost leak. So I did smoke test the vehicle already. I didn't see any smoke coming from anywhere. So I'm literally just gonna try to get in here and see if I can see anything that's obvious and then go on another test drive. Oh shit. Well, this little piece that's on the wire to my map sensor snapped. Great start. So I ended up just adjusting the turbo inlet down here because before it was kind of like diagonal hanging not hanging off the turbo but just really not pushed on there well so I tried readjusting that so we'll see if anything changes another reason why I thought that there was maybe a boost leak or just a leak somewhere in general is because when I started the car on a cold start I didn't really get the full rev range so starting the car was kind of like weak and it made me think that maybe I uh, have a leak somewhere. So we're gonna find out right now if by tightening everything down, fix the problem or if it's still an issue. Before I do that, let me reflash the car. For those of you that don't know, I am tuned by Sam, Sam Tune. Um, great guy, very helpful. He sent me a revision for the tune because I sent him some codes that I was getting. My engine was spinning too fast for my drive shaft to handle as well as my transmission. And I think that's caused by excessive wheel spin. So pretty much if your wheels are spinning too much, your car will kind of go into a limp mode and just kind of cut off. And I think that's what happened in the beginning of my other video. So on. Let's start her up and see if she still sounds weak. So it definitely still sounded weak. So I don't think the connections was an issue. Let's go for a drive. I'm gonna try to do a harder pull for you guys so you guys can hear better. Don't get me wrong, she definitely pulls. I'm gonna try to do a nice gradual pull for you guys so you guys can hear the turbo a bit better. Can you see? Look at this. I literally just got another drivetrain malfunction. Something's definitely not right. Oh shit. My car's not going anywhere. What the f pressing the gas, bro? Oh my god. God, no way. No way. Let me try restarting the car. That always works, right? Bro, I'm like low key kind of scared right now. Please, 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 please start up. Something definitely is not right. I'm about to take my ass back home right now. Something smells like it's burning so bad right now. Dang, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I get home and I can read the code. Let me try to start it up again. Hell nah. Let me read this code real quick. All right, so this is what I'm getting. So the exhaust flap actuator, we already know that's open. My exhaust flaps stay open. The crankcase ventilation, I'm pretty sure that is an old code because um, I no longer have that issue. But this one, 
the 1F053C I've never gotten. So apparently this code is also traction related from what I'm looking at. Maximum acceleration exceeded. There's a form here, the guy actually says the same thing, that his car shut off, no gas, only brakes, restart car, all codes go away, which is exactly what happened to me. So I'm gonna have to get underneath the vehicle and see what's going on under there, check out the drive shaft, make sure there's no leaks, um, but something is definitely, definitely wrong. So I just kind of just wanted to try it out. I was like, you know what, let me flash the OTS map that I had on this car before I even did the custom tune and everything started up, everything sounded normal. Like everything, nothing sounded wonky. The idle was normal. I don't know if Sam did like the cold start delete on the tune and that's why it just kind of idles at a lower idle. But he sent me an updated tune. So we're gonna start it up after it's done flashing. Maybe the tune just needs some tweaking and we'll be ready to go. Y'all, so it is a new day. Um, before I got up underneath the vehicle, I kind of just wanted to give it one last test drive. Sam sent me an updated tune, um, so he made some changes. He believed that the reason why I was having so many issues and getting drivetrain malfunctions and all that was because my tires were just spinning way too fast. But I'm here at in and out Burger right now. I just drove here. Um, I didn't drive too aggressive and everything seems to be fine. I'm not hearing any weird noises anymore. Uh, I think the drive shaft is completely fine. Uh, I haven't really pushed it. I'm kind of scared to. I wanted to really let my tires warm up before I even try to give it like a true pull because I will admit in the past, I haven't been letting my tires warm up. So I have been getting a lot of excess wheel spin. So I'm about to get this milkshake right quick, do a nice little pull, hopefully after my tires are warm. And I just hope to God that we don't get any drivetrain malfunctions, nothing crazy going on because the car already sounds a whole lot better. So whatever adjustments he made on the tune so far seem to be working. Can I just get one small strawberry shake and one small vanilla shake, please? Uh, yes, please. Okay, thank you. Speaks to me, this drive through smells like weed. Alright, so I found a road that's pretty straight, um, looks pretty smooth fairly new road so it's not like destroyed not super dusty so i'm gonna try to do like a semi pull on this road and just see how it feels hopefully i don't get any drivetrain codes but um we're gonna see let me show you guys real quick all right here goes nothing That was one point in that pool when my wheel started spinning and I had to let go of the gas real quick. Cause like I said, I did not want another drivetrain malfunction, especially now that I know that that's what's causing them. It's just my wheels spinning too much. Anytime I get a little bit of wheel spin, I'm like, oh, never mind. Just kidding, just kidding. But yeah, man, the steady pulls feel so good. So good. I'm not getting, well, then again, I'm not giving it full throttle. So I'm definitely gonna have to get some new tires soon to get the full effect and to actually utilize all of the power. Cause like I said, these are Zenus RT660s that I have on the car right now are spinning just as bad as the Michelin Pilot Sports were. Ah! Too much wheel spin. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe if I just completely turn off traction control, will that stop from, you know, getting the code? I don't know. I'm not trying to lose control. Oh, I'm a twire, but you need the driver mod. <laughs> All right. Woo! You ain't told me, and yo, I did some things, but that's the old me. My car's not making any weird noises. The pools are pretty good. I'm still not giving it full throttle, but my car is actually drivable. And to think that I was actually gonna start taking it apart and inspect the drive shaft. I even thought there was might have been something wrong with my transmission for a second, but but I'm glad that I just hit up my tuner and just let him know like, hey man, this is what's going on. He sent me a revision. So moral of the story, y'all, if y'all got a custom tune and something's not feeling right, speak up, reach out to your tuner because it could be a simple tweak. There it is. Apparently it's completely touchless. I ain't never been here. Why well, lot? I watched my car over here before, but I ain't never been to the touches one. Why are you so aggressive? <laughs> she said, she said forward. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm coming. What? Why is she yelling at me? Let me, let me close my sunroof. 
That would have been a dumbass mistake. I'm kind of excited, y'all. I ain't never been to a touchless car wash before. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, I just attempted to show you guys my car. It's super clean, but my camera died. The quality is probably looking extra booty right now, but this is my phone, because I'm not done yet. All right, here we go. Fourth gear is safe, because there's not a lot of torque, but um, yeah, she feels really, really good. One last one entering the highway, trying to get to fourth. Alright y'all, I made it back to the cribbo. Safe and sound. Just take a look at how clean the car is. Oh my. Oh my. That is squeaky clean. But in all seriousness, the car looks really good. It feels really good. Like I said, I didn't give it any like 100% hard pulls. Um, I gave it about 75% to be honest, especially just now on the way home. The tires were stickier than they were when I first started driving the car. They were nice and warm. And like I said, the issues that I was having with the transmission and the drive shaft, the clicking noises, all that, all that went away with this updated tune that he sent me. But regardless, in the future, if I start pushing more power on this thing, I'm probably gonna have to get an upgraded transmission anyways, but I'm just glad it's not right now. Cause your boy ain't got the money. But let this be a lesson to you guys. Like I said last night, I was actually gonna jack up the car, pretty much take off the heat shield, drop the exhaust, and just check out the drive shaft, make sure everything was good to go. But before I did that, I got a revision from my tuner. The only issue that I'm still noticing is the, the turbo noise kind of sounding like it's powering down like that noise every single time I let off the gas. I could just be paranoid, I could be looking too much into it, and that could just be the new turbo noise that I have, but hey, I was thinking it was a boost leak potentially, but honestly, <laughs> the car's not driving like it got a boost leak. But yes, yes, it could be a small one, so I'm still gonna look into that, but at this point in time, my car is drivable. I thought it was gonna be down for a couple of weeks, and I was actually kinda worried because I wasn't gonna make content, but my car is ready to go. But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you guys have any questions on anything you saw today, hit me up on my Instagram. That's the fastest way to get a hold of me. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel and you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining the Matoire fam. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. And as always, Matoire fam, remember your goals and don't stop till you reach them. Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, she'll probably get a name change. People changing on me like the game way I wish that I waited on the same